Hello to my Sagittarius family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, bringing you your November monthly reading for 2019. Thank you for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join us every day for my daily readings. Before we begin, a reminder that these are general readings for my Sagittarius family, so take what resonates and disregard the rest. This reading consists of each week of the month and a clarifying card for each week. I also have included an Angel Answer Oracle card to sum up the reading. And I'm using the Crow Tarot deck and the Mystic Dreamer Tarot deck. And all the information is below. So let's get started. Okay, Sagittarius. You start off November with the major arcana card, the moon. This card is all about the unconscious, your intuition, the shadow self, and things that have not been revealed yet. This can be about dreams and nightmares, Sagittarius. How have you been sleeping? Now look at the card here. The crow is looking back at the moon, which is reflecting a darker image of the crow, the dark side. And the caged raven symbolizes the crow's wild side, desperately trying to get it under restraint. So for some of you, it's a very good time to pay attention to your intuition and dreams. Your dreams will tell you, Sagittarius, what your deepest feelings are at this time. Is there something that you fear right now? Sometimes what we fear will creep into our subconscious, and this is when nightmares happen. If this is the case, Sagittarius, you need to address what you're afraid of in the light of day. Put an end to this situation. Now, for some of you, you just might be hiding something from others or yourself. And this can go the other way too. Someone could be hiding something from you. And this contributes to the confusion and fear you're experiencing. But sometimes, Sagittarius, it might be wise to keep something hit, some things hidden for now. The moon warns of deceit, lies, dishonesty, confusion, and self-deception. Some things under the moonlight often looks quite different in the light of the day. Something's just beneath the surface and is not just yet revealed itself. Do you have a secret, Sagittarius? And does this have something to do with your past? Something is brewing behind the scenes that will eventually surface. But for now, trust your gut feelings at this time. Now let's look at your clarifying card here. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Sag, the Eight of Pentacles is the work card, the apprentice card, the work card, and Pentacles are about money. So maybe your worries are job related. For some of you, you might be out of work and the bills are piling up. The Eight of Pentacles indicates that if you have been looking for a job, you will soon be employed, Sagittarius and not only getting a job, a steady job that you will enjoy, but you need to be aggressive and follow up on the interview. Get yourself in front of the right person. Maybe send a thank you note or email. You will need to persevere on this one, Sagittarius. Going into the second week, Sag, you are going to meet the Queen of Swords here. This can be someone in your life at the moment, or soon will be. This queen is very logical, rational, independent woman who cuts right to the truth of the matter. She has great wisdom with all the experiences in her lifetime. This is a more mature woman who doesn't mind being alone. She is more career-minded than dealing with emotional matters. And she could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, as these are the air signs associated with the element swords. Even though this queen lacks the desire for such emotional matters, she is an excellent advisor of truth and justice, 
And this woman will fight on your behalf in a given situation. So Sagittarius, is there something legal going on? Something to do with a court case? A divorce maybe? A custody battle? Maybe this queen is your attorney at this time. Let's look at the clarifying card, the Nine of Swords. Okay, Sagittarius, you are definitely worried and maybe fearful of a situation at hand. And the Nine of Swords is indicating that you're having trouble sleeping. You're probably not eating right either. By not taking care of yourself, Sag, you're ruining your immune system. You're running it down. Whatever you're in the middle of, you need all your strength to be able to deal with this. Worry will not change the situation, Sag. It will only complicate things. And this is the number nine energy, which means you're at the nearly the end of this ordeal. So things might surface. The things over here, the moon card, things that were hidden might be revealed. And this might help your situation, Sagittarius. So let's take a look into the next week. And we have another major arcana card, Judgment. Now, with all this worry, Sagittarius, this might be something that is going to alter your life in some way. I always like to point out that the major arcana cards showing up are more like big milestones or events that happen in your life rather than life's little ups and downs. So this can be something rather big happening now. Now, the judgment card has to do with things in our past. And on this card here, it shows the crows rising up like Phoenix rising from the ashes, ready to face their past by accepting judgment. So, Sagittarius, now is an excellent time to meditate and listen to what your inner voice, your intuition says. You need to face whatever this is that you're dealing with this month. What are you holding back, Sag? Let go of any habits or life choices now that no longer serve you. And this can be people as well. Judgment is a card of drastic change and release. Your current phase of life is coming to an end, Sagittarius. What lessons have you learned along the way? How did you succeed? Where did you fail? This is a time, Sag, to be completely honest with yourself. So let's look at our clarifying card. And it is the Two of Swords. It looks like for some of you, you're possibly still unclear on what to do. You might be dealing with two different conflicting ideas of thought. One way might be the traditional way you were brought up kind of way of thinking. And then there is the more recent turn of events that are making you think in a whole new way. You can't seem to shake the old way of thinking. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe this is the best way for you to go. With the Two of Swords, you need to put rational thought into the decision. Your emotions have been at the forefront and stopping you from making this decision. In regards to the judgment card, this can be something you did in the past that is causing you to be reluctant at this time. So now going into the last week, Sag, you have the Six of Cups. This is really revisiting your past. For some of you, you are thinking back to your childhood and how simple life was. Usually this way of thinking might come about when you're feeling overburdened with the day-to-day -day responsibilities and you're filling your heart with those fun healing memories of the past. Sometimes this can be a sign to take a break. Even one day, take a road trip or try for a few days vacation to a favorite spot, Sagittarius. Maybe you're longing to visit your hometown. Maybe you need to reconnect with family. You might have been distant lately and feeling bad that you lost connection. Make the call. 
The number six energy is about harmony and balance. And right now, Sag, you are wanting that back in your life again, like it used to be. Let's look at the clarifying card, the Five of Swords. This card is about saying that things that you can never take back, Sagittarius. Is this something that you've done? Said things to someone? You can't take it back? And this is someone close to you, someone who loves you. For some of you, you could be holding tightly to an idea or concept that really does not apply to this relationship. You're wanting to win at all costs, but what do you really get, Sagittarius? The fact that this is the clarifying card for the Six of Cups, this is something that has happened in the past. You're feeling very unhappy about it. And the Five of Swords energy is very negative energy and mindset. You need to meditate and find your inner guide to help you decide what you truly want to do. Now, the number five energy is an initial struggle or challenge that you might have to go through, but then there will be further growth on your future path. All is not lost. You just need to take the first step. Now let's look at our angel answer card here. And it says, wait. And there's even a sword or a laser, kind of a sword in the angel's hand, wait. So your angels and guides are telling you to wait a moment on this. They're not saying no, but they're saying not yet. Divine timing is playing a part due to it will have an effect on others. So be patient right now so the angels and guides can prepare all involved so that they experience, they have the experience that they're meant to have. Okay, Sagittarius, you start off with the major arcana card, the moon, with maybe some secrets to contend with. Something is hidden at the moment and will be revealed soon. And with the Eight of Pentacles, this can be tied to the way you earn a living or that you're in financial trouble right now. And then the Queen of Swords is showing up in your life to most likely defend you on a matter, maybe a legal matter. And with the Nine of Swords being your clarifying card, this shows that you're very worried and anxious about this situation or secret. You are most likely having trouble sleeping and not taking proper care of yourself, which isn't helping you at all, Sagittarius. Then comes the Major Arcana card, Judgment, and this is about facing something from your past, Sag, and accepting the consequences of your actions. And the Two of Swords means that you're still deciding on how you want to handle the matter at hand, and you're unsure on how it might go. And with this Six of Cups showing up in the last week, Sag, you are thinking of fond memories from the past, longing for those simpler times again. But this Five of Swords energy here is stopping you from addressing the situation once and for all. Is this something you did in your past, Sagittarius? For some of you, you can't let go. You have the need to win this argument or situation. What do you gain by this mindset? And maybe this queen of swords is someone in your family close to you that you went to for advice. And then words were said and you left it at that. Now the angel answer card is telling you to wait. So things can be put into place for all to receive the experience as it was meant to be. Divine timing is at work here. You will know when, Sagittarius. You will receive a sign. Thank you for joining me today, and please subscribe to my channel for daily readings. My website is mysticdortero.com. Thank you, Sagittarius family. Love, light, and abundance to all of you.